Yo guys, what's up? Got something new on deck. Uh, this is an AK-74. Um, it's a Polish uh, Tantal. And uh, it's 5.45 by 39 millimeter. And I gotta say, Compared to the Wasser 10, uh, this thing is like a Cadillac. I mean, no, this this thing is like a. Uh, we're talking about quality here. Compared to the Wasser 10, the Wasser 10 is like good. You know, I mean, I told you before, the Wasser 10 is not crap by no means. It's a rough gun. To begin with, uh, but this this thing's on a whole other level. It really is. I I I, I EM'd a couple guys on, on on YouTube, a couple guys that uh that I trust their opinions. And uh, my man, what's his name? Uh, Z Boy C O. Unless I'm not, you know, if, I don't find saying it right, dude. I'm sorry. It looks like Z Boy CO. He has videos of shooting this, and when he was shooting it, I fell in love with it right there. I said, man, that is a sweet looking gun, and it looks like real high quality. Uh, look at the craftsmanship on it. And I gotta tell you, I have a Wasser 10, and now I have this Polish Tantal AK 74. This is like on a whole other level. It's like it's like this is a Sig, and the Wasser 10 is a, like a Taurus. Okay, the Wasser 10 ain't bad, but it's not the best. This is really good quality, and I don't have a lot of experience with these kind of types of guns, but when you've handled guns a lot, you feel quality and you can recognize quality right away. And I really recognize it, especially in the stock. You know, look how beautiful this stock is. Now this is, this is, I don't know if that's wood or graphite. I don't think it's wood. But it has that unique look to it. I ain't touching anything on this gun. I'm not changing this. I like this. You know, I love the, um, I love the Parkerized finish. That's really a plus with me. I love Parkerized. I wish, I wish the Wasser 10s were Parkerized. You know, uh, the machine work is uh, really good. Uh, you can feel uh, like you know, like there is like no magazine wobble whatsoever. I mean none, zero. I could shake my balls off. I right? there's no magazine wobble at all. Uh, it's very heavy duty. Uh, the thumb, the thumb safety is very easy to operate. Watch this, one finger. Now you know the Wasser Tenji, you've got to push them pretty hard to get them to move. It's, it's like effortless. It's just, you know, it's made, it's made better. That's why. Um, let's flip it around. Doesn't mean the Wasser Tenji ain't reliable. That's very really reliable. This is just made better. Here's your safety. Look at the safety on this thing. It's heavy duty steel. has a Tapco trigger on there and according to the uh, Chanderson 1 and uh, Z-Boy CO uh, there's no trigger slap. Uh, Chanderson 1 told me he did have one of these and he traded it in and he wish he didn't he wants he wants to get it back you know I've done that buddy I feel your pain I've done that many times I've traded in guns and I didn't realize how nice they were until I didn't have them anymore but what I love about this rifle is its toughness, uh, the solidness, and the quality. This thing, like, screams quality. Screams, you know what I mean? Even the, uh, the takedown dust cover, this thing you push it, uh, the, the takedown button, it's like a little different than the Wasser 10. You gotta kinda like, I don't know has a little gadget on there. I gotta learn about it. I don't know shit about this gun. I'm just doing a review on it. All I can tell you is I've seen it on uh, 
YouTube, and uh, you know the Wasser tens are only accurate for about a hundred, maybe 200 yards max, like real accurate. I'm talking about. You know these are like accurate, very accurate for 300 yards, and uh, the round it fires is a 5.45 by 39, and here it is here, and it looks like a 223. A very similar to a 223. So you know there ain't going to be no recoil. It's not going to be much recoil at all. So there's the round. Uh, I I bought a box of rounds. They're kind of pricey. Uh, Eleven dollars for t for twenty rounds. That's what my gun store charges. Uh, maybe I can find them cheaper. So I just got two boxes for now. But uh, like I said, I did a YouTube uh, run on this thing, and. Uh, it was looking really nice on the, at the range, and uh, this this is a very accurate round. I mean, everyone knows that it's like a two two three. So what you're what you're getting is the is the beast and the bull of an AK forty seven with the accuracy, you know, of an AR fifteen. Is it as accurate as an AR fifteen? I don't know. I can't tell you that. I don't know. Uh, I've seen someone do a video on the AR-15 versus the uh, Polish Tantal uh, 5.45 by 39, and uh, it was ridiculous. The guys went about a, a, a 30 a 30 foot pace, you know what I mean? And uh, it said the uh, it said the AR-15 won in accuracy. A 30 foot pace, they're both the same in accuracy. It's not very far. So that video is, you know, you can't go by that. So, I mean, I, know, I just ain't the greatest video because I'm, I'm telling you the truth, guys. I don't know much about this gun, but I know quality when I see it. I know quality when I see it. I've seen this gun up on the rack at the gun store. It's been up there for a while, and I know a lot of people want to get these, and they're hard to get. And uh, I got a pretty good price on it. And uh, I said, let me hold that. I want to hold that. I said, is that an AK-47? And he said, no, that's an AK-74. It's a Polish model. I said, I want to hold that. That was like great quality. As soon as I held it and felt the trigger and felt the safety and felt, felt how, how tight the magazine was in there and looked at all the machine work from, from beginning to end and this thing, the wire stock, this thing don't budge. There's no wobble whatsoever, and it's it's pretty hard to fold it. You, you gotta, it's just because it's heavy duty and it's new, but that folds in. As soon as I held it, uh, I fell in love with it. So, and because the gun uh, the gun store guy knows me, and I buy a lot of guns off him, he uh, he wiped it. You know, he didn't charge me the tax. Now, of course, I mean he pays tax. He just knocked the tax difference off. So, and that really sold me when he did that. And uh, like I said, love the Parker Eyes fin. I love Parker Eyes. That's my favorite look. And I think this gun's sweet. Very sweet. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Real good quality. Very good quality. Safety's work. There's a safety there, I guess, and there's a safety here. All right, and I ain't got, I ain't got much time left. You know, I shouldn't have a glass table, not for this stuff. You get, you get a steel magazine with it, and then they give you this polymer magazine with it. And I'm looking at the polymer magazine. I don't know. It looks kind of used. That was making me wonder, but I know this gun ain't used. There ain't a scratch on it, so. I don't know, but this comes with it. You get a polymer mag and a steel mag. I like the steel mag, it looks awesome. And you get a bipod. You get this bipod. Alright, so there's a review on the Polish Tantal. Let me know what you guys think of it. I think it's fucking beautiful.